Ciao amici, I'm Maestro Leo Spitzeri, and today I'm gonna to show you something incredible. This is what you call an Italian fat kid's dream. I'm gonna show you how to make sausage and peppers, but we're gonna do it super homemade, and we're gonna turn it into a smash burger. Let me show you how simple it is. Thirty-five years. This never gets old. I preheated my blackstone to medium high to high heat. Let's start with our seasonings. I've got some whole fennel seed. Run your knife through and chop it pretty fine. The aroma here is wonderful. It's kind of like that licorice note, but it's the flavor of Italian sausage. If you've ever eaten Italian sausage, you know what I'm talking about. You can't make Italian sausage without fennel. Now, I'm also going to be using two tablespoons of cayenne pepper because I like things very spicy. If you don't like as much heat on anything that you cook with, back it down from one tablespoon or maybe don't use any at all. I'm also adding two tablespoons of paprika. This is going to give us that beautiful red color and a smoky flavor. Next, I'm going to add two teaspoons of salt and then mix everything together. That fennel is such a specific flavor. Don't skip that part. Throw on a pair of gloves if you want. Let's mix this whole thing by hand. Add the ground pork and all of our seasonings to a bowl. This is how I like to do it. Make sure it's really well combined, so just keep mixing by hand. You don't want to see any streaks. This is my method for making bulk Italian sausage for pizzas too. Make this ahead of time, pop it in the fridge, and pull it out when you're ready to make pizzas. This, I guarantee, is better than store-bought because you know exactly what's inside of it because you made it yourself. I'm gonna divide the meat into six meatballs. You can call them whatever you want, but in my smash burgers, I'm gonna turn this into six burgers that we're ultimately gonna turn into doubles. If you really wanted to, you could do one beef patty, one spicy sausage patty, put them all together, make them whatever you'd like. This is the beauty of cooking at home. Do what you like and make your friends happy. Let's slice up a little bit of yellow onion. You could use red, but the sweetness of the yellow onion is really gonna be great with all that pork. Let's do the same thing with the red bell pepper. Keep the veg as uniform as possible. It looks really great on top of the burger, but it's also gonna make sure that everything cooks at the same rate. Add a little bit of olive oil or canola oil and throw the onions and peppers down. Give them a little toss, and I'm seasoning them here with a little fresh cracked black pepper and salt. Nothing complicated. Let's cook these for one or two minutes per side, and then we're going to put them on the cooler side of the griddle to finish them off. I like to throw the meatballs down and leave them for about 20 seconds. Let them sear at first on one side, then flip them over. Now's the point where I like to smash them. They won't stick to the burger smasher. Smash these down pretty thin and let them cook for about 90 seconds. All of a sudden, you're going to notice all of those aromas coming out. And man, I'm going to tell you, that fennel really comes out. You're going to light up your entire backyard with this. Bring over some of the cooked vegetables and flip the patties right on top. If you're from Chicago, you've seen this happen at White Castle, guys. But I'm going to take this to another level and make them Italian style. Smash the patties down into the onions and the peppers. The pork is going to keep rendering down into those vegetables beneath. When we're cooking our peppers and onions in that pork fat, this flavor right there, friends, is going to be over the top. The last thing I'm going to do is add a little bit of mozzarella across the top of these. I'm using mozzarella. You could also use provolone. Any kind of melting cheese you like would work great here. Let's go over to our dough. I'm throwing a bit of flour down on my cutting board and I'm bringing my dough balls over. If you haven't seen it yet, go back and watch the Neapolitan dough video. I'm going to use the dough as my burger bun. It's going to be light and airy. Trust me. Out Once they're into these nice, beautiful rounds, pop them in the oven. The dough cooks super fast, so don't go anywhere. It's going to take about 90 seconds, and you're going to see these things puff up. 
that's the beauty of this dough. Don't forget to go back and watch that video. You definitely need this dough in your recipe arsenal. This is panozzo style right here, my friends. Look at that gorgeous leopard pattern. Cut them with some kitchen shears, drizzle them with some olive oil, and now these are ready to begin topping as your burgers. To build these beauties, bring the sausage, onions, and peppers over and fill the panozzo bun. It's gorgeous as it is right now, but we gotta go a little further. You know the way I do this. Add some baby arugula. Arugula is a peppery green with a ton of flavor. I love to use this as compared to any other greens. If you've never had it before, you've gotta try it. Now's the time to make it smell. Here's Pecorino Romano. I'm gonna put the cheese on for days, guys. Finish these off with crushed red pepper flakes, and finally, a drizzle of extra virgin olive oil, and this, my friends, is the perfect Italian sausage smash burger. You know what, guys? I, these look amazing. I just wanna cut one. Let's, let's check this out. I'm gonna flip this over. Look at this. My serrated knife. Ethan, get in here. You ready? This is how an Italian does a smash burger. Sausage peppers, onions, a little bit of pecorino romano. Guys, I'm going in. This bread, you cannot buy bread in a store like this. The only place you're gonna get sausage and peppers like this is if you were to go onto Arthur Avenue during the San Gennaro Fest in Little Italy in New York. Guys, this is a smash burger done Italian style. I hope you guys try this. This is amazing. I'm Chef Leo. Ciao, amici.